Hey everybody and welcome back to another quick tutorial episode. Now I tried to make this one pretty easy, but as you can see behind me ever so slightly, there's this awesome little house that you can build just by watching this video. It's super easy, all starter materials for the most part, but you are gonna have to work for some of this. Either way, let's get on into it. I can't wait to show you what's in store. All right, everybody, so without further ado, let's just jump straight on into this video so I can show you how to build this awesome little house. Now, right off the bat, you can see this foundation I have here. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It is a 13 blocks in um, length and then nine blocks in width. So as you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we have the outer layers. Now the blue blocks are actually going to be for supports and that is where we're going to place our spruce wood and then the 13 across is going to be the actual foundation so first thing you want to do is put in this foundation and we are going to use a mixture of stone bricks and stone now right off the bat there's a pig in the way <laughs> but i'm gonna fill all this in for you just so you can get the full picture here Okay, now at this point, what we're gonna do is you're gonna take spruce logs and you're gonna stack them up four high. Just like so, all the way around, leaving a three block gap in between each one. Now this one we will extend further up, but for right now, we're gonna leave it just as is, four blocks high, just like the rest of them. Okay, so this is essentially what you have in the beginning. Now, what you can do to add a little bit of detail is you can add some stone, kind of mix it in there, um, add just a smidge of detail, and it just makes it look all the more better. Okay, now our door is going to go right here, so you can put a block there and leave it. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is take the mangrove planks, and we're gonna stack those three high all the way around now this is going to obviously give us what you know the majority of the house is going to look like but we're going to add an extra detailing with some stairs with some trap doors all of that good stuff to really make this build come together and like i said this is actually going to be a chimney so we will get to that shortly um that's kind of towards the end um what i'd like to do is build my structures all the way and then do that extra detailing there now First off, what we're gonna do is you're gonna take some stairs and you're going to put it on each side of these supports. Just like so, actually we don't need it on that one. And that's gonna be the basics of what you need, okay? So now that we have the door, there's two things you can do. You can either add the detailing first. I decided not to do that because I just kind of want to change things up a little bit. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place slabs right here. Okay, so it's going to look a little funny right now, but you're going to go all the way around and we're going to place slabs on the bottom side of that top block. Okay, pretty simple pretty straightforward now what we're going to do is we're going to simply fill in the roof design so you can kind of see what i'm working with here so with these slabs being here on the fourth block up we're going to begin the roof so you're going to want to jut it out one and we're going to use dark oak stairs dark oak is going to be a reoccurring theme here now at that point what we're going to do is we're going to put a stair then we're going to put a slab okay and then we're going to put a full block Okay, so I'm going to repeat that on this side for you, just so you can see. So stair, two slabs, and a full block. Okay, now at this point, what we're going to do is it's going to get a little tricky, but you're going to bring out a stair just like so. So we're going to take a full block and go one block up and have a stair jutting outward just like that. Now, I know this looks really goofy, but you're going to love it in the end. Then you're going to want to take a full block. You're going to stack it up top here and then take your dark oak stairs just like this. So this is what it should look like. Okay, pretty, pretty easy there. You can put a stair there upside down and then put another stair there. And that's just going to give us a little bit of the roof foundation that we're looking for. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. So once again, dark oak stair, double slab, full block and let's do that again stair 
double slab, full block. And then remember, we're going to put this stair facing outward, one block out. And then we're going to do a whole block with a dark oak stair, upside down stair in the center, and another upside down stair just like that. Now that is the roof. Pretty straightforward, very, very easy. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some dark oak slabs and you're gonna wanna jut it out one, and then you're gonna go one, two, three. Let's do it on this side. So three out from the base, and then you go one, two, and we're gonna do two just like that. You can actually do three if you really want to. Totally up to you on this one. And you're gonna have to play with the blocks to get it to work. But that's how you essentially want it to look. Okay, we want the roof to have a little bit of a curvature and it's really gonna come together at the end. So, in order to finish this roof, you can take a mixture of cobbled deep slate stairs and deep, deep slate brick stairs. And you're gonna wanna fill it in all the way here. And we're gonna have to get some slabs out. We're gonna have to get some full blocks. So I'm gonna do it all in deep slate, just so you can kind of see how it looks. And then we'll get into detailing it very shortly. So you're gonna wanna fill this out all the way, just like so. And then we're gonna fill this out as well. And actually, you know what? Let's, let's do something better here. Let's turn this into stairs, because that's gonna give us a little bit more of a definitive shape, something to really make it pop out. You're gonna fill out these all the way to the center with these full blocks, and then you're gonna take your stairs, and you're gonna wanna cut that one in just like that. And from there, you can take your slabs and fill it out like so. So, stairs all the way until you meet the center point. From there, jut one in. And just like that, you have the basic foundation for your roof. That simple, that easy, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing on the back side. We're gonna fill out the stairs. Then we're gonna fill out the slabs. And then we're gonna fill out these stairs. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a full block. I do apologize. So stair slab full block. And then we're gonna start our stairs again. Just like so. Then full block all the way to the center. And then we're gonna start our stairs again and then cut it in right there. Do your slabs to finish it off. And then stairs once more. And boom, just like that, your roof is complete. It is really that easy. It's, I mean, this build is nothing complicated, so you should definitely be able to handle it very easily. So now let's move on to the next steps. All right, so now that you have all of that taken care of, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding a little bit of detailing. So right off the bat, you're gonna wanna place your grass just like so. And we're gonna do it all the way around, just like most medieval type buildings, except for this one. This one's gonna remain completely by itself okay so once you have the grass done you're going to take some spruce trap doors you're going to put those in and really and truly you can add these windows wherever you want uh, it's totally up to you on what you would like to do i added two windows here and of course we're going to add some additional windows on the back as well as our trap doors now, once again, it's not gonna be a perfect fit because these stairs are gonna act a little goofy, but that's okay. What you're gonna do at that point is you're going to take your spruce um, trap doors and you're gonna put them just like so. You're gonna take your dark oak slabs, extend them all the way to this full block here, okay? And boom, that's it. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Put our trap doors down, put a window, trap doors down and put a window and once again for here we're not actually going to mess with anything we're going to leave it exactly as is okay so at this point you're going to want to take some spruce buttons and slap them here and then do your dark oak signs that simple 
And we're just going to do that all the way around. Okay, there we go. Easy enough. So we have the majority of that design already taken care of. Now at this point, there's two things you can do. I decided to use spruce stairs right there. Um, just to add, I'm sorry, dark oak, dark oak stairs, just to add a little bit of detail. And what some people do, or if you wanted to, is you can add a little bit of extra detail adding your um, dark oak slabs to these windows. Totally up to you, it's not a have to, but it's 100% your call. So at that point, what you're gonna wanna do is take any type of color stained glass that you want. I want to use white stained glass and I want to use the dark oak gate, okay? Just like that, we're gonna add some windows and you'd wanna do that all the way around this build, okay? That's gonna add a good bit of detail and a good bit of layering to it. Now, what I'd like to show you now is we're going to take this spruce wood and we're going to bring it all the way up, just like so. And then you're going to want to take some stripped oak log. And you're going to want to fill this in as a little bit of an attic area. Okay. Now, another thing you can do is if you want to, you can take a campfire. And of course, you're going to want to put out these flames because it is a pretty wooden house and you don't really want to burn anything and you can put them there while also adding another slab right there and that kind of completes that look okay and we're going to do the same thing on this side at least with the slab and we're going to bring up the spruce wood okay and then last but not least we will also just so i can grab the block here strip dark oak to finish off the top just like that pretty simple easy peasy um, this is like I said an extremely easy build all right so now that you finished all of that let's get on to the final pieces of the puzzle now first off we are going to do the chimney and of course we are just going to use our normal brick you're gonna break the blocks where needed and then of course you would break this one to kind of give it a little bit more symmetry. And then you just want to stack it. That's all it is. Now at this point, what you can also do is you can decorate it a little bit with some stairs if you really want to get it going, just like so. And last but not least, you're going to want to add an additional block, take your spruce trap doors or really trap doors of your choosing. And of course, place a campfire there. Now it's going to give it the illusion that it is on and there's fire going through and everything's perfect in the world of the chimney. Now for here, we're going to take our spruce slabs and what we're going to do is we're going to put two up top here. And then you're going to want to circle it around just like so. Now at this point, you're going to need to stack them all the way down until we get to a full block. Okay. And let me add some of this here. There we go. And then you're gonna to wanna to take cobblestone wall, put it at the base of where it's going to touch down, and then add your last little bit of spruce slabs, just like that. So now you have an overhang, and if you want to, you can bring it around this way just to add a little bit more of a dimension to it if you want to stack it a little bit more. It's truly up to you. It's not a have to, though it does make it look a little bit better. Now, at that point, all you have to do is add some bone meal, add some decorations, and finish up your glass panes, and that is essentially the build. So I will be right back with the finished product so we can check it out. All right, everybody, and just like that, we are back for the finished project, and uh, here we go, here it is. So what I did is I obviously, you know, copy and pasted it, did some improvements, but for the most part, it is exactly as we put it down for the tutorial. I just added some landscaping, added some detailing, and as you can see here, it looks very cozy. Now you can change these materials to fit any theme that you'd like, 
I'm kind of going with the swamp medieval theme, but I really like the way that it turns out. So of course, you know, you put the flowers of choice. You can put some jungle wood shutters here, and you can even change that stair with a campfire. It's truly up to you, but for the most part, I, I gave you the basic foundation and I want you to kind of do with it as you want. So as you can see, once again, I added just the shutters, kept it simple. Going around the back side, of course, we have the chimney and that's really about it. Nothing too different from what the tutorial was. And then all I added was a small little wheat area and then on the overhang, a small storage place. I mean, that's really about it. Nothing too crazy there. So I did do the interior. Now, please don't judge me. I typically do not do interiors at all for vanilla. So this could definitely use some work. But right off the bat, you can tell just to kind of give you an idea of the space. We, have, of course, have a little campfire here. And once again, you have a bed. I mean, you can do a few things here. I know it's not going to be the largest base, but it's a great starter base. And I really think it'll come out perfect, especially if you just widen those dimensions ever so slightly. It could always be larger and better. But yeah, this is the interior. I kept it simple. Like I said, I'm not very good at decorating interiors. I hope you like it. But that's pretty much that. So this is the home. I uh, hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial. I tried to make it as quick as possible um, and as detailed as possible. This is a simple home. It's pretty easy. And yeah. So anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I hope, really hope you appreciate it. If you have any ideas, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to help you out. But this is The Legendary Purpose signing off. I hope all of you have a good day and happy gaming.